Now bring the air in on the right side. Fill the lungs all the way to your throat. Now close and keep the air in on the right. Close it with the thumb and you let it out on the left. That's one round. I'd like to ask you to put your feet flat on the floor and put your spine as straight as you can. Oh, I see. What's wrong with it? Okay. I'll do it with you. Close the left. I'm sorry. Close the right. And inhale on the left. Adjust the ring finger out, or the little one with it. But keep these here. Close your eyes, and you can have better concentration. Fill the lungs. Now, with the ring finger, close the left. And let the air out on the right. Pause. Bring the air in on the right. And close the right. And let the air out on the left. Keep your spine straight. Keep your head straight with your spine. And sit up straight. Very good. Let's do another one. Uh, with, the, with the other hand, you can keep track of how many you've done. You know, like this. And that's good. It's not just keep doing back and forth. You know how many you've done. This is not ideal, but we can just put it if we can and we do better tomorrow. Okay, please. Okay. Close the right side. Inhale on the left. Close the left with the ring finger. Exhale on the right. Empty the lungs. Pause. Inhale on the right. Close the right. Let the air out on the left. Very good. Any question? The one round is stop the right and coming back to the right. That's, that's right. How many do you need? Twelve in one session is good. Or just do, do six if you can. You know? At least do one. <laughs> so what you need is 12 rounds. 12 rounds. That's correct. 12 rounds. And how long should the pause be? Very small. Because it's not a, it's not a retention. It's not a retention at all. And then do you start the breath back after you release it again uh, soon after? Or is there a pause again and the breathing? From what I mean. Oh, when you finish? When, once you release Yeah, you do. Right you mean before you start the next yes. one? Yes. Yes. No, you can start it right away. But what, after you've done six or you've done 12, then I'd like to ask you to just keep your eyes closed and observe what has happened. Observe the effect. Observe the effect. So we're going to do two more. And then uh, I'll ask you to do that. Let's close the right. Close the right and inhale on the left. Keep the spine straight. Keep the head back just a little bit. The head itself back. Tilt the back. Fill the lungs to your throat. Close with your ring finger. Close the left side. And let the air out on the right side. Pause. 
Bring the air in on the right side. Close the right side and exhale on the left side. Completely empty the lungs. Now we're going to start another one. So bring the air in on the left. all the way to the throat, close the left, exhale right. Empty the lungs, pause, bring the air in on the right, fill the lungs up to the throat, close the right, and exhale on the left. Now keep your eyes closed and feel the effect. Feel the effect. You will. Just observe. See what happens. I'm going to show you another one. Let me ask you this. Was there a nice effect even just doing this little bit? Good. You know, you can your place and you can do and you can get right in. You might find that efficacious to do that. I mean, good stuff. Okay. To show very clearly, really, if you can focus on the placement of the sinuses that are usually here and on the sides, right? Your concentration should be here, but you very gently, you're, this is not for the abdomen, we're going to do something else for the abdomen, but just an exhale. So you don't think about inhale. You can do up to 20 or 30 or whatever you can do, you know? So close your eyes, place your attention between your eyes, and just concentrate on short and quick exhales. Short and quick exhales. Don't think of your tummy, although it will move a little bit. Think of between your eyebrows. Think of between your cleaning, your... Your exhales are cleansing the sinuses, which are very also important daily in the environment that we live in now. And I'll show you another. Count with each one. If you do up to 30, you will notice a difference in your, your sinus operation for the, for the day. Fast and quick. Short, short. They're not big ones. Question about yeah. It should just be automatic, and your thought should not be there. I mean, it does happen, but it's because it's quick. You're 
just be on the exhale because you put your head back a little bit and your spine is straight it, this will help this will help it keeps the spine straight and it's, it makes everything align a little bit you need to do that at first later. Really, these are really for your physical strength, your content and your concentration, and the concentration helps the clarity. In the study, the thing people said was that worked clarity, helped the clarity and the concentration. Those are the two big things. So uh, we're going to do something you ate, don't do it. It's better also if you didn't have any. But this is Agni Sardoti, and it's not exactly easy to do sitting. I'm not sure. I mean, I, only sitting on the floor have I ever tried to do it. And no, we don't have time, you know. This whole thing is. Agni Sardoti. <laughs> you know, Agni is fire and. Sardoti is, you know, actually the real cloth down your throat to your stomach and you but not two people, too many. People want to do that anymore and it's a lot of trouble. Actually, if you, if you don't mind standing, you can do it standing. Huh? So you, you do like this. And the air has to be out. Don't talk about another one because it'll be confusing. But, um, huh? That's right. The lungs have to be up the end of the stomach if there's any air there, too, I think. Yeah, it's really easier if you are sitting to do it rather than this way. But the point is, you're pulling in and up, and then you let it out. In and up. In and up. But do we change the posture when we let it? No, no. Change, don't, don't change your posture. So let's see you do it again, please. <laughs> yes, thank you. The large movement of the abdomen. No breathing in and out. No breath is oh, out. no breathing at all. The breath is out. The breath is locked out because you have the chin here, so there's no breath that can come in. See? No breath can come in because you've already exhaled. In here, and then you start that. Go oh, in. Then we come back and forth. Yes, that's right. How many times? How <laughs> many you can do it? Of course, yeah. As many as you can do it. It's really good for that. Not but it gets easier. And when it gets easier, you get more benefit. So you have to just work on it every day. How was that? Yeah.
That was good. That's good, isn't it? Can we do it once more? What is this called? Oh, this is called the stomach lift. Or the ugly <laughs> sardogi. <laughs> It's good to know both uh, both the English so when, and the English. When you speak also, you go lock the chin. That's right. That's very good. He's going to show us sitting. So you, he has all the air out. Now lock it out by the chin here, right? Now pull in and up on the tummy and then, then let it flex out. That's good. And the more you do it, the more that will become movable. So the muscles get stronger and Stamina. <laughs> it's great. You could say that. That's perfect. Anybody else want to do that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And this will bring you. Well, they said I should stop in five minutes, so one more. You want to know this last one? Yes. You start to move the end Kundalini from the in the spine. So, you know, you know horses, you know, Ashwini Mudra, horse mudra. <laughs> well, the, you, you become a horse. If you just, so that's a joke. <laughs> anyway, it's very effective. You bring your energy right away. You want some energy? You do this anytime. What you do is, um, again, let, you just let the air out. And then you pull up on the muscle of the anal sphincter muscle. So pull it up. You get you just get proficient in that first, and then there are more more dramatic things that, that, that help your movement of energy. But just practice that now. Close your eyes and just practice that. Okay. So how do you do the Ashwini Mudra? What? How do you do it? Yeah. Again. So. Don't worry about your breath at this okay. time. Just simply relax and close your eyes and center your attention on the end of your spine and pull up on that muscle, <coughs> the anal sphincter muscle, to pull it up and release, pull and release, pull and release, pull and release, pull and release. That's good. Do you feel any? any Increase of energy doing this? You might not feel energy increase at this time, but you're getting control of that muscle, which is the base. Of but you can, the they can squeeze the buttocks, right? <laughs> that's the idea. Yeah. What is the, uh, so the that's a good, uh, good way to do it. Yeah, Ashwini Mudra. Okay, so if you don't want to do all of these regularly, I'd like to ask you. Start this way that you uh, ask yourself to do a certain amount regularly, then that, that, that's the best way. And uh, I'm sure you probably uh, do other things mm -hmm. where you're, so that's fine. Either do them before you do your prayers or after, it's your choice. But do incorporate it with other things that you might do. Many more things I'd love to teach you. And uh, we'll meet again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And maybe do the same, maybe the next time, I'll show you some others. Because there is also a, a wonderful set of kriyas I like, I like to share. Mm -hmm. And they're both just wonderful. And for some people, they prefer to do those kriyas, uh, eight kriyas, um, rather than, uh, than these. But I'm not saying one substitute. <coughs> You know? Yeah. They do different things. But they're both very And um, the general rule is you do these um, for two or three months, and then I show you some more, show you some other things. And gradually, you'll find really wonderful things happen for you. 
physiology and the psychology. One of the best things about the psychology is uh, uh, I like to teach a trata. That's not so easy to do unless I have you in a certain place where you can have either a candle or a bat. Uh, it's very wonderful. It's a wonderful experience to learn a candle from that. So I, T-R-A, T-A. Uh, so I invite you to, to, to um, stay in touch. And, you know, like afterwards, figure out some other ways to, um, to meet. Thank you. 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 Thank you.